I'm looking at the difference between the Insta360 Go 3S, which I, I, I do really like in a lot of ways, and other things. Because this, this big camera, fantastic, but you can't take it everywhere. For a while, I just went with using the cheapest like Sony action camera that I could find. And actually, I look back at the footage, I've edited it, because it all kind of, action cam stuff, all kind of looks a bit shit. Your phone kind of looks a bit shit, apart from the new phones. I think with these, is it's it's the ease of use, and I'm going to say like the sacrificeability, which for 400 quid, this doesn't really have. It does have mounting options though. The problem is, I can never get this one to stick. Almost guaranteed it'll actually work now. I like the fact that you can monitor it, but that, but, I don't know. And then I've got the 360, the actual 360 one. So I could use that. And then I don't have to monitor it because everything's in shot. Or I could just use my phone because my phone's already mounted in here. Just turn it this way. And I'm kind of good to go. I could just, I could flip it around and use the better camera on the other side if I really wanted to. And then, you know, is it, let's flip it around. And so I can't monitor it now like I can do with, with this one, but it's always with me, it's always charged. I mean, it's got a charger literally right here, which doesn't reach if it's turned that way. But you know what I mean? It, it's there, it's accessible, the mount's already there. I don't have to worry about this one and it coming undone. I'm not realistically gonna drive that much with cameras pointed at me because I, I'm a, not that kind of nasty. I don't know. Let's get going, let's get to work. See, the other thing about this is it's supposed to be able to go on the outside of a car as well. But I do not trust this mount at all. Because I'd like to do some shots just showing off how tight this car park is. And how ridiculously close you get to the bollards. The column. But I'm not putting this on the outside. Yes, I can afford to replace it maybe once. But more than that, I'm pretty fucked. Whereas that Sony one... They're 50 quid, and the brackets for mounting them, I just 3D print. The other thing about the Insta360 is the fact that you have to basically take all the footage through an app. That's fine if you're, you know, doing videos that you kind of want to put together on there, but if you're doing stuff that's quick turnaround like today, you really just want to be pulling out an SD card and uh, plugging it straight into your computer and just pulling that, pulling those files off. Another thing that I don't like about it is that it's got built-in batteries. You know, you can't replace the batteries. So now, I, there's a lot that I do like about it, but it's very, very easy to find the downsides. So the goal this morning is to put up some wooden panels so that the mounting stuff for these can go onto the panels without me having to like drill a separate hole in the brick for each of the mountain things, because there's like 30 of them. <sighs> so yeah, let's get to it. Let's 
throw up first. Okay, progress is getting made. I do still need to put up shelves across there. These need to go because they're, they're too small. But yeah, these look fine. I think I'm gonna paint them white, the, the OSB. It was just the, um, not that it was just the best that I could afford, but it was the, it was double to get um, plywood. So I went with OSB because I'm gonna paint it I think I like quite like the texture of OSB. I used it a lot in um, in my like uni work. Hmm. Kind of weird, but yeah, this is where I'm up to. The fact that I chose to use this one, the fact that I chose to use this one because it was easiest to fit in my mouth. Next time on whatever this is. <laughs> 